So for anyone who's been on my retreats before, you will know that it's almost a tradition now to practice loving kindness meditation to close the day. Because uh, we really do deserve a lot of loving kindness, you know, after practicing so sincerely. And especially people who come in on Zoom, you know, it's impressive to me that we can now have retreats from our own home and we can, you know, make our own spaces, little retreat centers for the day. It's wonderful. <laughs> And uh, it also really helps to develop some uh, independence in the practice. So, yeah, thank you for being here. It's always really nice. I enjoy teaching on Zoom. <laughs> so, for the loving kindness meditation, we're only going to sit for about, ah, only about 15 minutes. So, it's a kind of uh, loving kindness in brief. <laughs> So it's more important than ever with loving kindness meditation to really feel at ease. So you really don't have to sit up straight or cross-legged. You can just relax as best possible in any position you find. Because this is already part of loving kindness, expressing goodwill to your body and your tired old mind. If the body wants to yawn, let it yawn, stretch, let it stretch, scratch, whatever it is, before you let those senses settle down and just come into the present moment again with a feeling of kindness and friendliness towards your body and mind. Just checking in to the body for any sensations that need a little bit more care. Tending to those sensations. As gently and caringly as a mother would tend to a child. Embracing whatever you're feeling right now. With compassion. With warmth. And if you do notice any pleasant sensations anywhere in the body or if it's comfortable to gently rest your intention in the area of the heart, the chest, please do so. Recognizing your own goodness, your own humanity, your capacity to awaken on the path. And with real loving kindness, sincerity, just wish yourself well.
using words if that's helpful for you. To express your deepest intentions of kindness to yourself. May I be truly peaceful. May I be fully content. May I be well and safe. May all suffering come to an end. Whatever words or sentiments feel sincere to you, relevant to you, and capture that benevolent attitude, unconditionally wishing yourself well. Just trusting in the power of these intentions without looking for any particular result. And now bringing to mind everyone in this Zoom room, this virtual Dhamma Hall, and those sitting here with me in person. Venerable Pekka, Grace, Minori, Amber and John. Everyone here, the wonderful co-hosts, Jackie and Dee. And all those of us who may know each other or may have come together just for this single day. All of us with intentions of loving kindness, intentions to practice to the best of our ability to cultivate this noble path. May we all be happy and peaceful. May no harm come to any of us. May we be safe and well. May we be truly content, imagining this loving kindness just spreading, suffusing each and every one of us here, filling up this whole Zoom room 
and recognizing that that is already spreading metta right across the world throughout the UK to where many of us are from Cornwall to Sheffield Bridport to Wales all across the UK imagine the UK lit up with a golden glow that's now spreading beyond to our friends in Gran Canaria Puerto Rico Italy India and so many other parts of this world it's as though each person has this little flame in their heart, a golden flame that's spreading out across this planet Earth, connecting us all and sharing that metta with all beings. So imagining our loving kindness continuing to flow all the way throughout Europe, to the Nordic countries, some of you I think are in Norway, Finland, down to Africa massive continent where many beings are happy and many beings are suffering with hunger or disease across to the Middle East the war-torn places the places of wealth to Russia, to China, and all across Asia, to India, where someone's calling in from right now. All human beings with the same worries and concerns, the same joy, and also sadness in their lives, in their hearts. Spreading to Australia, to everywhere, Antarctica, and across to the Americas, around the back of the globe. <laughs> to all beings on this wonderful, beautiful planet Earth. Not only beings on the land, but creatures in the seas, in the rivers, the lakes. and in the sky, in the air. Human beings and animals, insects and birds. With a special mention to the turtles and tortoises with or without a moustache. All beings, visible or invisible, far or near human or non-human wherever there's life may all beings be free from suffering may all beings receive the blessings of my life of our life And may they receive our combined loving kindness that stretches above and beyond in every direction to all beings without discrimination. Whether happy right now or sad, may all beings be safe and well.
free from hunger and pain, oppression, torture and fear. And may I be happy and well. Free from the oppression of the defilements in the mind. Free from wanting and ill will. May I develop contentment and peace and share it with all beings in this world. So just staying connected to any pleasant feeling associated with that loving kindness or just the goodness of that intention itself. And allow yourself to receive the blessings of loving kindness as I chant in Pali, one of the metta suttas, spreading loving kindness to all beings everywhere. Sabe Sata Sabe Pana Sabe Buddha Sabe Pugala Sabe Atta Bawa Pariapana Saba Etio Sabe Purisa Sabe Ariya Sabe Anariya Sabe Dewa Sabe Manusa Sabe Winipadika Awe Hontu Abya Paja Hontu Ani gahon tu Sukiatana paviharan tu Dukha munjan tu Yadalada sampatito Maui gajan tu Kama Saka So in the Buddhist tradition we normally say sadhu three times which means well done, very good, awesome so if you wish you can and we do it a little bit over the top to bring a smile <laughs> Sadhu Sadhu Sadhu. <laughs> Thank you for joining in with the three sadhus. That's very nice to see people having a good old stretch and a smile. <laughs> it's nice to end smiling a little bit more than we were when we came. So I really hope that you've enjoyed the day. And um, it's been very nice for, for me. I have four lovely, five lovely people with me. And the teddy bear. <laughs> Should have really shown you the teddy bear. That's another way to like bring a bit of softness to the mind. Yeah. 
Jeremy Pin's been on loan. That's the indigenous uh, Nunga name from Western Australia for happiness. So this is Jeremy Pin. And uh, Jeremy Pin's been uh, staying with Manori today, whose birthday it is. So yes, he's a very special bear, full of happiness. <laughs> so over to our lovely team to say a few words and uh, and I'll ask you to know where to catch up with me after that. <laughs> well, what a beautiful way to finish! Thank you so much. Your voice is amazing. Uh, so that was lovely. Thank you. And um, uh, there's so many thank yous in the chat box as well. So. Um, I'm going to finish with the way often it does. I'm going to give a little Dana talk. I'm sure there's lots of people here who've heard this talk many times before. This is my first hosting. So, and there was a lovely um, comment from Harriet in the chat box who it's her first time. So, because oh. it's her first time and she said she really enjoyed it. So, okay. I thought, well, I, I will go with what I prepared and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, so thanks again. And um, as I say, I know many of you are aware of the Dana practice uh, that Gaia House uses, and, um, but I know some of you might not be. So Dana translate roughly as generosity, that which is freely given uh, without a price or any expectation. That's one I've learned from today, those expectations. Um, these teachings are priceless and uh, all the teachers uh, give their time and wisdom freely. They're not paid by Gaia House. Because, um, you know, it's so hard to put a price on what we've, be, we've just been given. You know, it was amazing. Thank you. Um, the practice acknowledges our interconnectedness and our interdependence. Even though we're on Zoom, we're still completely, you know, connected. And money is a tough subject sometimes. I know I've had a few things that have popped into my world while I've been doing this today. Um, so, because our world is where society is so monetized, you know, everything is. Uh, your registration fee paid, uh, that you pay goes towards the cost of running this retreat and sustaining Gaia House for future years. So this is just a little invitation really, um, to give what you can, to show your support, there is no amount recommended. It will be very, it will vary depend, depending on your own circumstances. So choose what is right for you. Um, I was going to uh, put all these in the chat box, all the details, but I haven't done that yet. Um, but there is all the details should be on the notice board. So if you go onto the notice board and um, any dana that's received by Ben Chanda. Uh, is going to go towards her, her requisite needs and helping to grow her sangha of fully ordained nuns, which you mentioned to us earlier. So that's where the money is going to go and it can help, so they can help share the Dharma, to Dharma too. As I say, the details should be on the notice board and I think, yes, they've, it's gone into the chat box as well. So thank you very much. Thank you for a beautiful day and thank you for being so such a wonderful group for my first experience. It's been lovely. Thank you very much. And um, thank you for your generosity. And yeah, so well. <laughs> wonderful. And thank you, Jackie, I mean, for being so brave to do this in your first, for the first time. I mean, you've been wonderful hosts, both you and Dee, absolutely wonderful. I felt really assured from the moment I entered the room, even though like I dropped out and could, uh, <laughs> didn't have any internet signal until like the minute it began. But nevertheless, everything went well. It's lovely to see you all, and I hope that we meet again. I have put a few notes in the chat for anyone who wants to come to our little uh, online community events. We have like teachings every week on Friday evenings from the suttas and uh, discussions, really, um, and a whole host of other stuff, meta meditations, and we invite teachers here like Ajahn Brahmali, who I mentioned. So you can find out all that on our website. And uh, of course, we have a little monastery, which I did want to mention because we talked about the dana. And I know that most of the time the dana goes to the lay community or lay teachers. But in this case, it's really not going. I mean, of course, it goes towards my requisites and upkeep, but it's actually a place for everyone. 
it's not just for monastics. I now have another very wonderful monastic here with me, another real bikuni, <laughs> all the way from Australia, originally Sri Lanka. And it's absolutely fabulous to see, you know, a place for women uh, who are fully ordained to be able to practice. But it's also for everyone else as well. You know, we really welcome members of every marginalized community as well as, you know, regular society, if you like. And it's incredibly inclusive. I'm really proud about that and um, just proud of my community more than anything else. Uh, many members of the community are here today. And this is a place where we can practice together and, you know, we can come and as spiritual friends to meet one another. So I think we need more places like this. Of course, Gaia House is a really established retreat center and this is wonderful. And many of you probably know each other from there. So please do support Gaia House. And this is also another new community, much, much smaller. But uh, I think one of the beautiful things about monasteries is they can be that in-between place between retreats and daily life, you know, where you can practice the whole path. You know, you're not always on retreat, but neither are you in the normal workplace either. So there's some service, but there's also some quiet time. So you're all welcome to visit us here. And I'm sure that you'll be able to find information on our website as well. So, uh, yeah. And that's all I want to say, that it's just a, a space for us all. So whatever you're able to give is for the benefit, hopefully, of many. So, And thank you for your practice, which is the best gift of all. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for showing up. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everybody. Take care, everybody. Meeting. Okay. I, oh, if you all want to unmute, just oh, say, yes, goodbye. Unmute yeah. and say goodbye. Maybe my people can come as well and say goodbye because they've yeah, been yeah. all the time. You get to see another bikini right here. <laughs> Rebecca, she can wave. Hey, mm -hmm. and Grace, you want to come? Grace has been looking after us here for <laughs> nearly two months, actually. But, <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. All the way from America. Minori's here. She's been meditating. She's our bookkeeper. And then, yeah, come, come. <laughs> this is Amber, a very wonderful <laughs> woman who's been supporting the day, mm -hmm. and her brother, John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. So, yes. <laughs> nice to see you all. And, yeah, take care. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you.